The 1997 Villanova Wildcats were special. This team will be remembered as perhaps the greatest group ever to take the field on the main line. The 97 Cats in their inaugural season in the new Atlantic 10 Football Conference won the conference championship. They also posted the first undefeated, untied football season ever in over 100 years of Villanova football. Villanova finished the 1997 regular season as the number one team in the nation. For the first time, Villanova hosted and won an NCAA playoff game. The Cats' 12 victories this season were the most wins in school history. All this from a team that was not ranked in any preseason polls. The Wildcats' success this season included many incredible record-setting individual performances. But teamwork was the key to this storybook year. Every player and coach on this 1997 squad played a part in the historical season. This is the story of that season. The story of the legendary 1997 Villanova Wildcats. Villanova, led by head coach Andy Talley, started the 1997 campaign under the lights at home against local rival Westchester University. Fireworks of many types were on display this night. First, on the field, the Wildcats exploded for an incredible 64 points, a school record for points in a game. What's even more astounding is that they scored them all in the first half. Villanova scored on their first play from scrimmage. A 51-yard pass from Chris Bowden to Curtis Sifford. And the Cats never looked back. Senior receiver Brian Finneran started his dream season off with a bang, scoring three touchdowns, including a 51-yard strike from Bowden. Backs now open up behind quarterback Bowden. He checks at the line of scrimmage. The blitz is on. He drops. He looks. He guns it. Down the middle. Fight open. Brian Finneran. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He is in the end zone. Chris Bowden goes 51 yards for his second long touchdown pass of the night. And the Wildcats first out to a 20 to nothing lead. On defense, the Cats held Westchester to a meager 26 yards of total offense including minus 17 yards rushing. Linebacker David Hecker had two and a half sacks, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery to lead the Villanova defensive attack. The Cats' electrifying performance was halted only by another powerful display in the skies. A lightning storm ended the game early in the second half. Villanova had their first victory in the books. Shocking the Rams 64 to nothing. Next, the Cats traveled to hostile territory for their Atlantic 10 opener against arch rival Delaware. This game is always one of the most exciting and challenging of the season. This year proved no different. The Blue Hens of Delaware came into the game ranked number four in the nation and were riding a 14-game home winning streak. This game would be a great test for the Villanova squad. Villanova pulled out all the stops on offense, fooling everyone in the stadium with a perfectly executed trick play, which had Brian Fitterin hitting senior Josh Goldman for a 52-yard first-half touchdown. Sophomore quarterback Chris Bowden had a super day passing. Bowden was 24 for 38 with three touchdowns. Bowden found Brad Finner in seven times. The senior wideout made tough catches all day. Twin brother Brian had another standout performance. In addition to throwing a touchdown pass, Brian Finner had six catches for 147 yards and two touchdowns. Senior receiver Josh Dolbin was Mr. Clutch. Dolbin recorded 141 yards receiving. He also had two touchdowns, including the game winner late in the second half. On defense, the Cats were Delaware quarterback Brian Ginn's worst nightmare. The Nova D sacked Ginn nine times. Junior Jason Tenner led Villanova with four and a half sacks. And junior Chris McAvina added two and a half quarterback sacks. 
The Cats defense made the big stops when it counted. And the visiting Wildcats had cause to celebrate in the end. Beating rival Delaware 35 to 25. The Wildcats returned home the following week to an impressive parents weekend crowd of over 11,000. They were on hand to see the Cats wrestle with the Black Bears of Maine. With their two early season impressive victories, Villanova had climbed to number 10 in the national rankings. Quarterback Chris Bowden was again on fire. Bowden connected on 25 of 35 passing attempts for 323 yards. He became the first Villanova quarterback in school history to pass for over 300 yards in back-to-back -back games. Bowden was named A-10 Offensive Player of the Week for his efforts. Freshman running back Duke Augustin had an outstanding day with three touchdowns. Wings in the way, Federer slotted Bowman wide in the left first down on the 16. A reverse and Brian Federer's going, oh no, it's a fake right side toss, touchdown! Duke Augustin wide open, and I want to tell you, Garrett Gillick was fake as much as I was. Defensively, the Cats held the Black Bears to just 77 yards on the ground. They played inspired team defense, keeping Maine from mounting any sustained attack. With the 34-14 win, Coach Talley had his Wildcats at 3-0. Uh, two undefeated teams playing, and uh, we came up big today. Defense did a good job. Offense had a lot of big plays, and, you know, we're on a roll right now. We're 3-0. We want to keep it going. The following week was homecoming at Villanova and marked the return of one of the Cats' greatest receivers, Bob Brady. Brady was on hand to see his school records for career receptions and career receiving yards broken by Brian Finneran. In a victory over James Madison, the Villanova senior had eight catches for 144 yards. Finneran had four touchdowns on the day, tying an Atlantic 10 conference mark for touchdown receptions in a game. Finneran's are wide to the right and back to throw. They're looking open as Brian Finneran into the end zone. Touchdown! And that not only is a seven-yard touchdown catch, but he now becomes the all-time reception leader at Villanova, breaking the record set by Bobby Brady, who will be one of our... Defensively, Jason Tenner and company were just too much for the Dukes to handle. The Cats' defensive unit turned in another solid effort. Chris Bowden continued his sensational start, completing 23 of 30 passing attempts with five touchdown throws. A record-setting day and another victory for the Wildcats. The now third-ranked Villanova squad finished their three-game homestand by crushing the Minutemen of Massachusetts. The Villanova offense scored on their first five possessions to take a 35-0 lead at the half. Wide receiver Brad Finneran took his turn in the spotlight. Brad had 11 catches for 171 yards and two touchdowns. Chris Bowden was 16 for 18 for 287 yards and five touchdowns great number. What makes them greater is that Bowden compiled them all in the first half. The Cats offensive unit compiled an amazing 519 yards for the game. Delani Kelly chipped in with two interceptions for the Wildcat defense, who again had a solid day. Now Nova took their 5-0 record on the road against some tough Atlantic 10 opponents. Villanova started their series of three consecutive road games in Richmond, Virginia, taking on the Richmond Spiders. Chris Bowden was simply outstanding again. Bowden threw for 409 yards and five touchdowns. It was the third straight week that the sophomore quarterback threw five touchdowns in a game. Bowden became the first Villanova quarterback to throw for over 400 yards in a game. Brian and Brad Finneran were Bowden's favorite targets. Brian Finneran had eight catches for 155 yards and two touchdowns. While Brad added seven catches for 143 yards and a touchdown. The defense made the big plays when they needed to. 
stopping Richmond's late game drives. Freshman Duke Augustine added some tough running in the second half helping the Cats to their sixth victory in as many games. The first time a Villanova football team started their season 6-0 since 1964. Every season has its defining moments. Moments that turn good seasons into great seasons. The Atlantic 10 showdown between Villanova and William and Mary in Williamsburg was without question one of the defining moments for the 1997 Wildcats. The Cats entered the game ranked number one in the nation for the first time in their history. The formidable 13th ranked William and Mary tribe and their sellout homecoming crowd were the first challenge to Nova's top spot. After falling behind early in the first half, the Cats battled back. Chris Bowden connected with Brad Finnerin for a touchdown to start the Villanova comeback. Senior place kicker Mark Kiefer added two important field goals, making him eight for eight on the season. But in a season that had been highlighted by offensive explosiveness, it was the Wildcats defense who were the story on this day. The Villanova defense shut down the tribe in the second half. Sophomore Sean Lyons was outstanding with 14 tackles. With the defense holding the tribe in check, senior running back Curtis Sifford took over. Sifford ran 107 yards on 21 carries. With the game tied late in the fourth quarter, it was Sifford who punched it in for the go-ahead score. Sifford in the straight eye with Brian Finneran flanked to the right. Bowden awaits a snap. He goes to Sifford. Sifford goes up the middle, dives in for a touchdown! Curtis Sifford going over touchdown! The Wildcats take the lead with exactly 3.15 to go in the fourth quarter. The Villanova defense stopped the last-second William & Mary drive. And Andy Talley's Wildcats were still number one. And for the first time in school history, a Wildcat football team was 7-0. The top-ranked Wildcats now traveled to rain Soak, Rhode Island for their third straight A-10 road game. With a win against Rhode Island, the Cats would clinch a share of the Atlantic 10 title and an automatic bid to the NCAA playoffs. Nova was dominant on defense. Sean Lyons led the Wildcats with nine tackles and a sack. Strong safety Shannon Riley added 12 tackles and recovered a fumble. And cornerback Adam Turner had two interceptions, helping the Cats stop the Rams. On offense, quarterback Chris Bowden battled tough conditions and threw three touchdown passes. Senior Josh Dolben made big catches all day long. Dolben finished the game with seven catches for 122 yards. The Cats' ground game was led by Curtis Sifford. Sifford had a career-high 30 carries for 122 yards and two touchdowns. In the end, it was Villanova again on top, winning their eighth straight game, capturing a conference title, and clinching an NCAA playoff berth for the fifth time in the Andy Talley era. This is a great victory, okay? Congratulations to every one of you, Atlantic 10 champion. First yeah, one in the world. Villanova returned home to host the University of New Hampshire. The Cats kept their perfect season and number one ranking intact by posting another come from behind victory. Trailing late in the fourth quarter, Chris Bowden and the offense faced a crucial fourth down in UNH territory. Bowden connected with Brian Finneran to keep the drive alive. Freshman Brian Westbrook then put Nova on top with an eight-yard touchdown run with just under five minutes to go in the game. Motioning through the line of scrimmage and going as Brian Finneran. They'll hand off. Westbrook runs up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Villanova! Brian Westbrook is over the left side. And the Wildcats have reclaimed the the Villanova defense again played its best when the game was on the line. They stopped New Hampshire and kept alive their perfect season. Against the University of Buffalo, the Villanova offense...